What's up guys, it's Coach Grant with First Down Training, and today we're going to be talking about how to do a speed cut properly. So we're going to be talking about the specific mechanics of doing a speed cut, whether it's an out route, a post route, a corner route, whatever it may be, but how you guys can get in and out of breaks faster off of one step. So I hope this video gives you guys some value and it teaches you a few new things about route running and how you guys to make more efficient cuts. But also, fellas, if you're a wide receiver and you want an exact step-by-step -step schedule of what you need to be doing on the field to take your game to that next level, check out that very first link in the description for our 28-day on-field a wide receiver workout plan. So what it is, it's four weeks of workouts, all broken down with the names of each workouts. We give you specific sets, repetitions, and we include a 30 minute long video where we break down each exercise of the plan. We talk about the importance of it, what it works on, and then we show a full speed example. So check out that very first link in the description below, fellas. If you want an exact step-by-step -step schedule on how to improve your game as a wide receiver with on-field drills, let's get started. So we're looking at this kind of inside stem out route here, and we're going to be talking about just the mechanics of the step and how you guys could be making this speed cut. So a speed cut for anybody that doesn't know is this just single cut right here where you just pop this thing off right in stride you're not dropping your hips you're just breaking off of one foot okay so this pretty simple break and this is a break that you guys want to use a lot when you're in zone coverage you don't have to worry about doing rocker steps you don't have to worry about doing anything you could do it in man coverage as well but I'm just saying that this is more of like a zone coverage move because it's not as um like complicated and you're not trying to necessarily you are trying to sell I guess I should say but you don't need to do a rocker step you don't need to do three separate moves it's just something where you got to stick get out of the break and be able to to accelerate. So the first thing I want to talk about is with this speed cut, you want to make sure that this cut is sudden, right? So many receivers will emphasize this cut in reach, right? So you see how when Davis is running this route, he's just popping it off right in stride, right? There's no like kind of reach out for it because the second you guys start to reach for this cut and it's not inside of your frame, you're going to be wasting time at the top of the break. Imagine if Davis is trying to reach out to really emphasize stepping on the DB's toes, his chest will pop up in the air, his back leg will drag, and then he'll take probably two extra steps at the break and he won't be accelerating out, right? There are three phases to every single route. You got the stem, which is selling vertical, which is what's moving this DB off this platform. That's creating the opening for you to make this break. Then you got the break point, which is phase two, where you got to be explosive and you got to be sudden. And that explosion that you generate from that cut has to explode you out of this break. So the number one thing that you got to make sure that you're able to do when you make a speed cut is you have to be sudden. You have to be in stride because being in stride sells vertical, but you cannot reach. Keep the cut underneath your frame so you guys can be efficient and actually rip those arms to drive out of this break and widen the distance. They call it a speed cut for a reason because we have speed out of it. So when you make that cut, really make sure that we're pushing off of it. Really make sure that I'm ripping my arms and I'm accelerating back to this ball, whether it's an out route, whether it's a post route, or whether it is a corner route. Let's watch the thing again, full speed one more time here from Davis. Great job accelerating up. Great job staying in stride and then making that break in stride, obviously. Okay, so now we're looking at this router from Sterling Shepard. I'm sure you guys have seen this, but we're going to be talking about where you should angle the step and where you should be striking the ground on this thing. So he's going to be running a dig. And a dig is one of those routes where you could run it a few different ways. You could run it off speed cut, square cut, you could snap it off, you do a rocker step into a dig. A dig is one where you could really run anything, right? Very similar to an out route on an out route because it's a timing route. I only like doing the speed cut or the rocker step, but for this dig, now, second thing that can help you guys improve your speed cut and how you guys can properly make this cut is you want to angle your foot just slightly to the direction that you are going, right? So you see when Shepard makes this break, it's very sudden. He's not reaching out for it. He keeps a good pad level but when he makes this break right here, he's sudden. He's popping it off in the ground and that foot is slightly turned to the direction he is going, okay? You don't want to turn it. You don't want to point your toe like sideways because A, you're going to hurt yourself. B, your cut's not going to be very sudden. It's going to be slow because your legs just don't work that way, right? So there's just a slight turn. The reason why there's a slight turn in your foot and the reason why it's kind of pointed upward like this is because you want to make sure that you are driving off that inside arch of your foot. Now, I'm not saying cut on the inside arch. I'm not saying when you strike the ground, you should be on the inside inside arch and your knees should almost be touching the floor, right? We're not all Jerry Judy. We not all, we all can't not move. We all can't move like that, right? You want to strike on the arch, but to get out of the break, you want to push off of the inside arch, almost like a pitcher when he's coming off of a mound. So you want to strike with that foot, just slightly turn to the inside. And then you're pushing off that inside arch of your foot to keep that energy, right? Because if you guys are sudden with your break, how we're a little bit more sudden with the speed cut is make sure your hips and your shoulders are committed to the vertical. But when you're sudden with that cut, that foot is slightly turned to to the inside, that can really push you out. And when that foot really pushes you out off of there, that can create a lot of energy that you generated from the vertical stem, from the break point. And obviously that will get you a little bit more separation from this DB to where you can accelerate out. So make sure, fellas, second tip to improve that speed cut is when you make that cut, slightly and slightly is very, tread lightly with that word. Do not turn your foot completely because you will hurt yourself. Do not turn your toe outward and reach out for the break because you will also hurt yourself and be slow. Have that foot turn slightly to the inside 
side to give yourself a little bit smoother of a transition into the acceleration phase of the route. Let's watch the thing again, full speed one more time. Great job by Shepard, giving that little quick split release, coming to the outside, slightly angling that foot so we can burst out and accelerate. All right, guys, I want to take a break from this video to talk about a great supplement, dietary supplement, protein powder, and pre-workout that you guys can take by ANG Labs. So you have pre-dominance and pro-dominance. It's a pre-workout supplement for all of you guys out there who want to get a little bit stronger, add a little bit more muscle mass, and then pro-dominance, which is a great protein powder supplement, whey isolate, which is healthy, specifically made for athletes to help you guys recover after your workouts and to build muscle as well. So if you guys use the promo code FIRST15, check out that second link in the description below. If you guys need something to take after practice, after workouts to just help your body recover, there's a great supplement that you guys can use. And then obviously they have a pre-workout supplement that you guys can take before workouts to help you guys have more energy, more focus, more strength in the gym. So use the promo code FIRST15, 15% 15 off your first purchase if you guys want to improve your game and improve in the gym. Again, second link in the description below. Let's get started with this next clip, okay? So now we're going to be taking, we're going to be talking about how you don't want to make this speed cut kind of in front of yourself. You don't want to reach forward. What you want to do is you almost want to make that speed cut almost to the side of your frame. So we're just going to be looking at this first break here just to keep it simple for you guys. So he's going to be running a post corner, obviously, right? That's two speed cuts. You're speed cutting on the post, speed cutting off the corner, right? That just single cut to get out of there, right? Some people might call the might not refer to the, the post to the corner as a speed cut, but I'll refer to it as a speed cut. It's just one single step. But like I said, we're just going to be focusing on the post anyways, right? So when he makes this break to the post, you see how that cut again, I want you to see. See how he's angling his toes slightly. He's pushing off that inside arch to give him some burst. But the other thing I want to talk about is how you don't want to cut straight forward. You kind of want to cut to the side, okay? Now, not a lot of people emphasize this. Not a lot of people think about this either who naturally do it. But for those of you who maybe struggle with this, check yourself. Maybe think about this because it's something that a lot of receivers that I work with personally have done in the past because they haven't really even thought about it. They just thought that they're putting the brakes on. What a lot of receivers will do is they won't make this cut to the side, like almost at a 45 degree angle. This foot right here will be about like here. It'll be in front of them and they'll be striking the ground. So many guys will strike the ground heel to toe because they keep their feet and they keep that shin angle like pointed straight forward. You want to have that cut just slightly to the outside on a 45 degree angle because when you can give this slight cut to the outside... A, that allows you guys to throw your hip into it and you could really sell the route going outside because when we work that speed cut, we do want to throw my upper body. I do want to throw my hip into it. But this also allows you to really get some weight on that inside arch of your foot to push out it. This is another way to make that cut a little bit smoother, to eliminate wasted time at the top of the route, and to be able to push, to be able to drive off the inside arch so you could get that acceleration and create that explosion at the break point. Let's watch the thing again, full speed one more time. Great job by this receiver using that speed cut to get to that post, breaking three steps and getting that DB to obviously jump. Great job accelerating off the speed cut. All right, guys, we want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys have any questions on any of this, please don't feel free or feel free to leave those, uh, leave any comments, questions, whatever in the comment section below. I always appreciate the feedback. It's always good to hear from you guys. So I definitely, definitely appreciate it. And again, fellas, four week long on field wide receiver workout schedule, everything you need to do on the field to improve your route running, press releases, catching ability, explosiveness, balance, all the above broken down to specific drills. We give you sets and reps and we include a video where we break down each drill, the importance of each drill, and then we obviously show a full speed example. So if you guys want access to that, very first link in the description below. I will see you guys next time.